The Public Accounts Committee may have taken inordinately long time to deliver a report that saw members engaging in a civil war over its content. Chair of, uh, of uh, Public Accounts Committee, the Honorable. But the report Nicholas. is finally out, and it is damning in its recommendations against, among others, former devolution CS Anne Waiguru and her former peers, Peter Mangete. Miss Anne Mumbai Guru, the former cabinet secretary in the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, be barred from holding public office if found guilty after due process in light of our overall leadership at the ministry, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations commences fresh investigation of abuse of office by Ms. Anne Mumbi Waiguru. It was a scheme that was crafted in such an elaborate manner that the thieves who were involved were sure that no action would, would be taken against them. And we are going to ask the youth to reject the Jubilee government based on the evidence in this document. The document speaks volume. The report directs ESEC to audit the lifestyles of senior devolution ministry officials with DCI required to expeditiously investigate the ministerial tender committee for abetting corruption. Some are even transforming themselves into politicians to come here and play oversight roles over the very same institutions that they have helped to loot. When I hear somebody in the press accusing somebody of catwalking and speaking a lot of English. Yet the other day the same person was protecting the same individual. One wonders who is telling us the truth. Someone who was actively involved in the scheming, in, in the planning, in the execution of this NYS scandal that has cost Kenyans billions of taxpayers money is now being cleansed. The report also paints businesswoman Josephine Kafura and Ben Gethy as well networked fronts used by top ministry officials to siphon billions from public coffers with KRA asked to probe their tax returns. However, former CS Anwai Guru has laughed off the report as recycled allegations. That PSC report is, is already done its time and I think we've discussed it many times. It's, it was already there and I think I shouldn't comment about it. It, it has absolutely no consequence. Those recommendations have been said before. This is just a tabling on the floor of the House. They are free to air their opinions, but they do not hold any water in law. Public Accounts Committee also recommends further investigations on Central Bank of Kenya boss Patrick Njoroge. DPP Keriako Tobiko directed to review his decision not to charge Aden Harake. Should members of the National Assembly adopt the Public Accounts Report on the NYS, then relevant agencies including the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, the Director of Public Prosecutions and the ESCC will be required to do their job and bring all the culprits to book. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament.